Hey everyone, Gary Simon of Corsetro. So today we're gonna take a look at something that's a real small niche yet uh, important topic, especially when you're designing something like a chat application uh, when, where you have you know content that's continually coming in and it, it's creating scroll bars. And what that is is customizing those scroll bars and it's not as straightforward as you would assume through just CSS alone. So there's a GitHub uh, repo, a little project that allows you to very easily and quickly create these customizable scroll bars. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we kind of have just like this sort of chat application interface. And you can see as I scroll down or up, uh, we have this little uh, scroll bar showing up that we can customize and use because the default scroll bar is pretty ugly and it doesn't work for most uh, user interfaces in terms of creating a cohesive experience. Um, and we could also see, for instance, that uh, our Discord server, Discord, they have custom scroll bars as well. Um, you can actually make it and, and change the appearance to make it look like this and function like it as well. So uh, yeah, very good stuff. So also uh, today's question is, do you use a Mac or a PC when you're designing or coding? All right, so I know I don't want this to, to erupt into a big argument in the comments section, but you know, if you really strong feel feel strong, if you feel strongly one way or the other, also state your reasons as well. All right, I'll give my answer here in the comments, and yeah, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so here is the GitHub page for Simple Bar. I'll link it in the, the YouTube description if I can remember. Um, and uh, we'll come down here, and it's going to tell you the different ways you can install it. You know, through the Node Package Manager npm, through Yarn, or through the script tag. For us, I want this to be quick and easy, so we'll use the script tag, which will uh, give us the JavaScript and the CSS, uh, the default CSS for it. So. Um, I have open, uh, let's see here, Visual Studio Code with an empty folder. So go ahead and create an empty folder, open Visual Studio Code up with it, or whichever code editor you want to use. And we're going to create some files here. So first, just an main.html, um, and we'll hit exclamation point just for that boilerplate code right there. Um, and then right here, we're going to type in link and enter, and then we'll reference a main.css file. Now, usually I would just write straight up CSS, but now I'm going to start writing SAS more often. So um, we're going to use a uh, Visual Studio Code SAS plugin. So you only have to install this once. I already have it installed, but I, if you go and type in laugh, laugh, live SAS compiler in Google for Visual Studio Code, you'll probably end up on this page right here. And uh, you just click install and just go through the process of installing this plugin, and then you'll be able to use it uh, momentarily like I will. All right, so um, let's go ahead and create that SAS file. So we don't have to create a CSS file. We create a main.scss. And I don't know why I named that main. Let's change that to index. There we go. All right, so this main.scss file. So now what we do with it selected is we click on watch SAS. And this will only show up after you have that um, plugin installed. Now it's watching it and it created a main CSS file for us automatically. So we just write our SAS stuff in here. All right, and uh, yeah, that should be it. Okay, so let's go back to the installation section here, and we're gonna take the, uh, we'll, we'll take the CSS line first, and we'll put it just before our main CSS, and then we'll go back and we'll get the JavaScript and we'll put it just before the closing body tag. So now it's already ready to go and ready to be used essentially. And um, the way you use it is extremely simple. Uh, you put it on whichever element you want to be, uh, you know, have a custom scroll bar. In this case, they're using a div right here. And you simply add this data attribute called data hyphen simple bar. And that's it. But we're going to take this a step further. I'm going to show you how to customize it and actually show you how to make something that looks kind of like a chat window sort of thing. So um, let's go back here. And what we'll do, I'm going to hit, uh, let's see here, F11. 
give ourselves a little bit more room, Control-B to get rid of that sidebar. And we're just gonna write out some um, HTML, something very simple, just two columns. Um, we're gonna use the main element here. And we're gonna give it an ID of scroll, which we don't really have to. I could just reference a main in this ass, no big deal. Um, data hyphen simple bar. And then we're also just gonna leave it right there for now. All right, and then inside it, we're gonna have some content. We need enough content to, to really make it scroll, otherwise it won't scroll. All right, so um, I'm just gonna put a paragraph tag and type in lorem. All right, and that's the lorem ipsum tag. I, I think that comes by default, but I'm not sure with Visual Studio Code. Um, if it doesn't, then just do a Google search. Then we're gonna take this and we're gonna repl replicate it like, I don't know, nine more times, so we have 10. So I'm gonna hit Shift, Alt, Down, with that uh, line, the cursor on that line. That should be good right around there. And then finally, we'll have an aside element for um, the second column on the right por portion. And we'll just leave it empty. So that's all we're gonna do for the HTML. All right, awesome stuff. So now we'll switch over here and um, I'm gonna hit Control B. We're gonna select this right here, right click on the index and choose open with live server. Live server is another one of those things I believe you have to install um, as a plugin. So of course right now it looks extremely ug ugly. Uh, not really working quite well. All right, so let's go back to our main CSS, our main SAS file rather. And we'll just write some real quick uh, code to, to make it look a lot better. So we're gonna do primary as a, a variable here, two, one, two, one, two, three, kind of just like a really dark desaturated blue. And then also we'll do body and HTML. We'll say height 100 viewport. All right, and then just our body alone. We'll have a background is that primary color. We'll also have a color for the fonts and stuff, white. The font family, I'm gonna use Montserrat. It's already installed on my system, so it'll work. Otherwise, you'll have to import that font. We're gonna display grid. All right, so we're gonna use the CSS grid to structure things. And our grid template columns is gonna be 80% and auto. All right, and then margin zero. So let's save that, we'll go back. That's what it looks like so far. We can see our simple bar is actually showing up, but we wanna customize it to make it look a lot better. And then inside of our body, we'll have uh, our main paragraph. So the paragraph is what we want to make it look better. So margins um, around it will be one EM padding, the white space inside of it will be 1EM. Background, we're gonna use lighten function, and we're gonna pass in our primary color, and we'll lighten it by 5%. So that'll just create a container around it that lightens it up right there. And then we'll also put border radius 10 pixels. Opacity will be 0.4. All right, and then our font size will be 0.9 EM. Again, none of this is at all specific to this part yet. I'm just just doing some quick size styling. We only have three more roll sets and we'll be done. Um, side, aside, we're gonna say background color. We'll lighten it uh, by 30, no, 5%, sorry. Looking at the wrong area. So let's save that. That just lightens this area up. As you can see, doing this is super quick and easy, creating these uh, sort of chat applications. Um, scroll bar, we'll say before. Now what this is doing right here, uh, there's a simple scroll bar uh, class that is attached to our scroll bar. And there's several of them actually. And um, it allows you to be able to control the appearance and all that stuff through CSS. Now, if you come down here um, to our GitHub page for this, we could see if we go to documentation, um, 
right here, it's going to show you the class names, the default class names, and you can also use JavaScript to change those class names. Uh, we're not going to do that, but uh, just a real quick pro tip. Let me go back. You know, if you if you want to figure out, you know, how you could change color and all that stuff, just go to Control Shift I and click on here, and you'll see we have the simple bar track. We have the, the simple bar scroll as well. And so you can experiment um, by changing the CSS in there, but we're not gonna do that. Um, so the one thing I do wanna change uh, is the color of the actual scroll bar because this black does not make sense at all. All right, so we'll just do background color again, lighten primary by 30%. So it really kind of sticks out a lot more. So now if we save it, and it is not working. Oh, that's because it needs to be simple bar. Sorry about that. Simple bar. What am I doing? I just woke up like 20 minutes ago, literally. Scroll bar. Simple bar, scroll bar. There we go. There. So we've lightened it by 30%. Okay, cool. Um, and then we'll put simple bar, scroll bar, margin right, two pixels. And the reason I'm, I'm not gonna save this yet, it's just kind of showing up a little bit too close to that side over there. So I'm just gonna save this and now you'll see it gets pushed away. Now it's a lot better. All right, so also there are some um, adjustments that you can make, some options that you can apply to it. Uh, if you take a look at the uh, the GitHub page, um, you can change the options uh, through JavaScript, um, or you can use it, or you could specify them through data attributes right here. So, for instance, um, if we wanted to make it so that the the scroll bar is always shows up no matter what, and you don't just have to hover like this, then we simply attach that right there, and then you'll see it always shows up now. Might be a little bit more user-friendly to do it that way. But I found it was a little bit strange behavior when um, this was true. And that is essentially it. Um, there's a few more other options. Um, you could change the scroll bar minimum size here. Um, we already talked about the class names. Um, there's there's other things that you can do, but that is basically it. All right, so hopefully you found that useful. Make sure you answer today's question in the comments, which is, do you use a Mac or a PC when designing your coding? And also state your case. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.